हरि ओम माय नेम इज रामराज कुमार आई एम फ्रॉम तिलक नगर उपास सेंटर आई एल शेयर स्मॉल लिटिल मेराकल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ माइन विच आई एक्सपीरियंस सो आई वाज वर्किंग इन पुणे अर्लियर एंड आई हैव टू ट्रैवल फ्रॉम पुणे टू मुंबई क्वाइट ऑफन आई गॉट अ जॉब ऑफर थ्रू माय फ्रेंड्स रेफरेंस आई गॉट एन इंटरव्यू द इंटरव्यू इज वेरी हार्ड टू क्रैक यू नो मेनी ऑफ माई कलीग्स आई ट्राइड इट बट दे दे फेल्ड एंड इवन आई थॉट आई फेल इट बट सम आई क्रैक डेट and the front person or the other company was offering me 50% of what i was earning so it was like a huge hike something which people jump to but i i knew few history around the company so i thought probably you know should i take it or should i not before this on thursday bapu has spoken about a small spe- uh, uh, and his pravachan only has mentioned about the uh, the summer season where you know the patte jhad jate hain pedon se and uh, you uh, people are losing their jobs they try to uh, do their own business and then they again uh, lose money because they don't invest it properly so take the job which you get don't think about your earning past one lakh so this is the approach which he gave in that past so himant singh so me this approach and said probably this is not the best for you so i said yes so then uh, there i said no immediately after a month i got a offer back to mumbai so it was from my previous organization they gave me an offer back so i this is the way i got a chance and the offer was so good the, the role offer was so nice i couldn't say no um then when i joined back i realized the role which was hired for was different than what's offered to me so they were offering me let's say five things at the end they were giving me one thing which i used to work on 10 years back so it was like i have downgraded myself come from top to bottom and i was thinking okay kya ho gaya mere sath maine socha tha acha role milega but it kharab role mil gaya so i was literally in a wrong state i was thinking ye galat decision hai mujhse then uh, still i continued uh, after 6 months i got permanent and jan my dad uh got uh, you know hiccups continuously he couldn't eat anything anything he drank also vomited out so we went to nearby doctor we thought keep food poison rahega agar ke doctor also gave us food poisoning medicine even the medicine he vomited out then he said admit him to hospital it looks something different post admission they did some scan test and it was confirmed that he had cancer uh he was treated uh, for one ha- one one month probably and we got the entire uh, he had colon cancer so the colon was removed the part which was infected was removed out uh, and the doctor said he has to take chemo poster uh, he advises six chemo uh, sessions it started from feb uh, on feb uh, we had the chemo board insertion and the first chemo was supposed to be given to him very first chemo we gave he got a heart attack and the uh, doctor said you know we have to give menzoplast immediately so at night around 10 11 my sister was there and she was very worried and we went with uh, my dad he was admitted and we did the endoplasty so uh, then the endoplasty went well uh, doctor said it's in right side at there was small block not a huge block but you know it's there and then they realized that the first chemo they, they, that reacted back and he had this heart attack so the chemos were changed the injection were changed to medicines and then um, we had normal medicine dose for three times post that start first started coming from his stomach you know so first doctor thought it may be cancer which is coming out which is melted and coming out so he mentioned uh it may be cancer so he gave us a few medicines to eat post that again the hiccup started he couldn't eat anything he won't drink water it will come out we thought uh, wapas the same issue ho gaya shayad you know the, the stomach is bloated probably cancer bad gaya wapas se so when doctor again he said post scan ke andar pus bhar gaya hai the entire body is filled with pus because of that uh pus he is not able to eat anything the that that thing intestine is stuck together so hum log ne fir he said it, we have to do operation again so he did an operation again and he says, said that the previous operation stitches might have opened up that would have caused this issue so we have restitched that whole area again so it should not cause any issue further uh we were in hospital for one and a half month uh, and he used to get fever every day so uh since it was one and a half month around 45 days we escalated the issue saying ki baba kafi time ho gaya we are not getting discharge and he said give paracetamol every day uh then post discharge on third day the stool cards uh, started coming from his operated area the, the the entire stomach slightly opened up and the stool started coming it was stink and you know you can feel that it's, it's actually stool coming out so we were rushed to hospital again we got admi- admitted again again that was operated this is a very serious operation doctor said shayad bahut difficult hai so it was like maybe you not survive so that was very good but then he survived luckily um and then we came out post operation it was detected that he has tb the tb pus were coming out and then we were given tb medicine and the fever went away but his condition was very bad post three surgeries his condition was very bad he 
uh, the doctor said, you know, probably he won't survive. So they gave up on him. Now I was in a fix what to do. So I, I, I messaged him and say, he told me to contact Dr. Leenam and get Suchida's, uh, you know, uh, uh, suggestion from on, on what should be done. So I, I messaged Dr. Leenam about what the case was, he was and what the doctor suggested. He asked me, say, uh, Ram Raksha for three times a day and uh, said, whatever doctor says, just do it. So uh, I did that. Uh, uh, we, I'd said uh, Ram Raksha for at least a week or so and on regular checkup, we used to go for every week. So when the next time I went to a doctor, he was surprised. The entire stitches which were so, you know, you could see these stitches and see the internal parts outside. The stitches were not, not that good. And he had hiccups also. The hiccups used to, you know, spread the stomach and these stitches won't hold together. But after that week, the stitches were completely bound together. The, the, you, can't, you can see a new skin on top of the operation area. So the doctor was very surprised. He was saying it's a miracle which has come in. No, it, it's very hard to see a patient recover so fast. So we're very happy. Uh, he's still in bed, but he's doing good. Now, if I look back, uh, one and a half year back, the jump which I did from PS on this organization, had I been in Pune, it would, have, it, would have, it would have been very difficult for me to take care of my father. My father is in Mumbai, I'm in Pune, my sisters are in Mumbai, you know, we had a great struggle coming back and forth. So he planned it, saying, you know, come in Mumbai. I, uh, Dad got the first operation on Jan. So I joined in May, till Jan I completed six months. So I was permanent, I was eligible to take leaves. So I got this leave opportunity as well. So he planned it that I get a leave and I could operate him. Then the medical leave which was offered to me in previous organization was just six lakh. The entire operation cost was 42 lakhs. So this was a huge amount. Had I been... It is, had it been me to shell out the money, it would have been very difficult. But the present company medically covered it very nicely. And uh, you know, it was, I was saved with that financial crisis as well. So even though when I was in it, I felt this is a stupid decision which I have taken. And you know, I used to curse myself. But when I come through now and when I look at back, I see he planned it so nicely for me. So the word he said, not served. Now I understand it's how important it was. And, but the, the way he plans it, it's perfect. You just have to trust his plan and just keep saying Natsavi and go through it. Uh, I'm